Well, it's my pleasure to be joined by Ruby Rose. Ruby, how are you? I'm so well, I'm so well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Now, this is an absolutely massive film with a massive cast. What's it like to be involved in a project like this? Wow, I mean, it's exceptional. When, when I joined, I knew about Vin being attached and I knew about Sam Jackson and, and that's all I needed to know. But uh, to see that cast develop into such a global cast, you know, with Deepika and Donnie Yen and Chris Wu and having someone from my hometown as well, having yeah. Tony Collette, you're right, it's this enormous cast of amazing women and men and, and just so talented in these different skill sets. So you couldn't have asked for a better group of people. Amazing. Now, in the film, you're kind of called upon by Vin Diesel's character to help him. Um, I mean, how do you prepare to essentially be, in a way, Vin Diesel's right-hand girl um, and kind of help fight the baddies with him? I feel like, you know, Vin's very clever with the way that he sort of you know, because he's a producer as well and how he sort of likes to create his cast and, and his stories. And, you know, when I read the script and realised what a bond they had and what a special bond that was, it, it seemed to make a lot of sense. And I think that there wasn't a lot of preparation into how I'd have to be to, to be that character because I just feel like it is a gender irrelevant kind of bromance, yeah. as he likes to call it. And that's how people are, you know, when you have someone's back, no matter what, and it's an unconditional love. Uh, there's not really any limits to what you would do to protect that person. And yeah. that's kind of the, the role that I took on board and, and him also. Amazing. Um, also, I heard that you had to go like rifle training to do that. What was that like? Yeah, the old sharp shooting. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I mean, I'm super gun shy, you know, like I haven't, I'd never touched a gun before I started doing films. So it was interesting to get my way, you know, my head around that and, and that being a 20 pound machine and, and the kickback of it and so I had to definitely work on being strong for one and then the actual technical side of being a sniper is really intense and it's very mathematical and it's about the breathing and I really enjoyed that process of, of realizing how how you know tricky that was and getting yeah. getting ready for that amazing and as I said it's a big action-packed loud film <laughs> do you think that was like in a way intimidating at all approaching a film that you know it's gonna be this big and this action-packed not really, because when I read it, you know, I, sometimes I kind of, I read parts and went, how on earth are they going to get motorbikes on water? How on earth are they going to, you know, I never really kind of could picture it all actually happening and what it would look like as one film. Uh, but when I saw it for the first time, I, I realised quite how much we were fitting into this sort of smaller, you know, hour and a half or whatever the film yeah. is. And uh, it really is one epic, you, you kind of blink and you can, you can miss so many things because it's just non-stop, yeah. but not in a way that you sort of get over it because it's, it's, it's stuff that's never been done before, you know? So yeah. you're kind of constantly being challenged by, this is impossible, isn't it? But they all happen, it's real stuff. Yeah, and obviously our, other than this film and some other films you've been in, our listeners will also know you from Orange is the New Black. Yeah. And obviously other than the fact that one, it was a TV series and this is a film, how did the experiences differ between that and this? You know, there's some similarities, like it being kind of quite an ensemble cast, which I really love. Uh, but, you know, there's many differences. With, with an action film, uh, especially, a scene can take a week. You know, when you're doing a TV, you do sort of three scenes in a day. So yeah. to be able to spend so long on a scene can be uh, both very rewarding and then also very tiring because you have so many angles of all the different characters you want to capture and then stunts in itself are very specific. So that kind of became something that I was new to, sort of thinking, we've done 19 different you know, angles of this, yeah. but then when you see the film again, you go, it makes sense now why you had to get the reverse and upside down and through a mirror and yeah. you know, whatever, and it, it comes together as something really epic. Amazing, and you have been keeping yourself very, very busy, as well as all the films you've got coming up. You also wrote and directed the Veronica's latest music yeah. video. What was that like, kind of trying your hand at that? It was fun. I mean, I've written and directed before. I've done you know a couple of short films, and, and Break Free was sort of maybe the the one that you know was the most well received. And so doing that for the girls was a lot of fun. It I wrote it in a night. We we shot it in a day, edited it in a day, and that was it. Uh, but I loved that because I got to put something else in in that character that I haven't been able to do in a film yet, which was a sort of a more raw style of acting and, and directing. I really I, I love it, both sides of the camera. Amazing. And my final question then, in three words, because it's triple X, uh -oh. um, why should people see this film? Oh, it's exciting, it's inspiring, and it's fun. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Ruby Rose. Thank you so much. Um